Let's look into what makes a user story a good user story. One of the things that I like to do is whenever I write user stories, um, I like to check against the invest criteria. And the invest criteria just really breaks it down for me and helps me understand whether my user story is good or not. So in this section, we're just going to break down what each of these um, acronyms stands for and maybe even go a little bit more into detail and I'll provide some examples where I can. So I stands for independent. Whenever possible, teams should avoid dependencies between user stories. What I've seen happen among team members is that often team members don't talk enough through the user stories and miss whenever there is a multiple dependencies and which can really lead to prioritization and pro uh, planning problems. Um, when there are dependencies among two user stories there where maybe one has a higher priority and other low, then it becomes hard for them to estimate and really prioritize. So really look out for those dependencies. Uh, M stands for negotiable. Um, when there was that traditional business requirement document, they were often looked at as contract, while it's not the case with user stories. Um, we've talked about one of the benefit of user stories um, is that they open up conversations. So there should really be an ongoing conversation between the dev teams and business uh, as the development is happening. Let's take a look at an example. Um, suppose our website, theagile.com, we wanted to offer a service where we support American Express, Visa, and Discover. Um, it seemed reasonable at the time when we wrote the user story, but as the development started their work, what they uncovered is that if we wanted to support American Express, we actually needed to add another layer of security that wasn't required on the other two methods. Um, and they mentioned that, hey, this is actually going to take two more weeks into the development. And this is exactly the type of thing um, that makes a user story story negotiable. The information may not have been available at the time when the user story was written, but now the developers and the product management can have that open conversation around whether it's worth investing time into this functionality given the new information. I've always looked at user stories as conversation starters and not contracts. So the developer should really feel free to question the requirements um, if new information arises and the product team should be able to revise a story if a new information from business arises as well. So that's what we mean by it being negotiable. V stands for valuable. The business value of the story, really the why, um, it should really be clear and understood by everyone. The why uh, does not necessarily need to be from the perspective of the user. Um, why can also address a business need of a customer without really, uh, without necessarily providing a direct valuable result to the end users. But all these stories should be connected to some sort of clear business goals. Um, and again, this does not mean that a single user story needs to be marketable feature of its own, but maybe small uh, stories can make up a feature and that should deliver a value. Um, e stands for estimatable. Uh, the team should understand the story well enough to be able to estimate the complexity of the work and the effort required to deliver the story as a potentially shippable product. Now, this does not mean the team needs to understand all the details of the implementation in order to estimate a user story, but, but really enough. Um, S stands for small. Uh, the story should be small. When thinking about user stories, um, if it cannot be completed within one sprint, then it's too big and it should be divided into uh, multiple user stories. Um, so similarly, again, when there is no need to make a story too small, then avoid it. You shouldn't have a small story just for sake of having it. Um, just really look at if it makes sense or not, because sometimes it might make sense to group something together to really complement each other. Um, um, then it makes sense to have a single user story. Um, so let me give you an example. If a user story has to do with adding, deleting, or editing your card as you are checking out a product online, it doesn't, it doesn't, and if it doesn't provide a significant value by itself, then it makes sense to have it as one user story. 
Um, last but not least, testable. Um, user stories must be testable in order to ensure that the development is complete and um, has been um, has been done correctly.